Hi everyone, nice to see you. I hope you're enjoying all being back in school, maybe seeing your friends you haven't seen for a very long time. It's been a very strange time, hasn't it? But I'm glad you're back. And soon, maybe, maybe we'll be able to go back into St George's Church. That'd be great, wouldn't it? I haven't had an assembly there for a very, very long time. I'm looking forward to it. But first of all, we'll say these words, OK? The peace of the Lord be with you. Very, very good. Now, I've been asking around about how people feel about coming back to school. And I asked Aggie what she felt about going back to school. So, Aggie, are you there? Hello. Aggie, can you tell us, can you tell us how do you feel about going back to school? Oh, I love being back in school. It's such good fun. I'm so glad. OK. And Aggie, what have you missed the most when you haven't been able to be in school? Uh, well, I missed all my friends, really. I miss seeing my friends, but I'm glad I can see them now. OK. Well, thank you very much. Now then, I also wondered how Gary was doing going back to school. Gary, I think I'm going to get a slightly different answer from Gary. Gary, how do you feel about going back to school? Am I glad to be back at school? Well, no, not entirely. You see, I was quite enjoying it being at home. I could play my games, I could watch TV, have a bit of fun. Haven't you missed anything about being in school, Gary? I'm really surprised. I thought you missed something. Well, it's not all bad. The best thing about it is I can see my old friend, Don the Daffodil. And this is his favourite time of year. So, good to be with you, Dom. And I suppose school's all right. Yeah. I'm sure we all are glad to be back in school one way or another. Because it's a great school to be back at, isn't it? We do like St George's, don't we? Yeah. Well, I was trying to think of a Bible story which is right for today. Now, as you know, the value for this term is courage or Courage, I should say. Well, I was trying to think of a Bible story that would be right for courage, but would also be right for when you go back to somewhere you haven't been for a little while. I know that lots of you have been in school anyway, so it's the same old, same old, isn't it? But if you haven't been to school for a while, I thought this would be a good story to tell you. And you may have heard it before. and I hope you can remember it. Well, if we go back a long, long time, about... 500 years before Jesus, that's about two and a half thousand years ago, the people of Israel had been taken away from their city of Jerusalem. That's right, they'd messed it all up, they hadn't listened to God, they'd done terrible things, and in the end, God sent a foreign army from Babylon and they invaded the whole land, they flattened the city of Jerusalem, they burned it all down, and they took the people away to be their slaves. What a terrible thing to happen. So the people had been in Babylon, which is about 500 miles away, for 70 years. That's like us going right up to the top of Scotland, even further really, and not seeing our hometown again. The people missed being back in Jerusalem, but what could they do? They were stuck there, weren't they, for 70 years. Eventually, it was time for them to go back and God had managed to get them to go back to their home town of Jerusalem. But you think about it, 70 years is a long time, isn't it? And most of the people who could remember Jerusalem had all died or were very, 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 very old. So most of the people had never been there. Can you imagine that coming back from the far north of Scotland back to Hyde? But this is many years later, and nobody knew what Hyde even looked like. That'd be very strange, wouldn't it? Well, the people came back after a very, very long journey. And they must have been quite brave, because the city needed so much work doing. And it was a dangerous place to live. All the walls that protected Jerusalem were all gone. So they had to set to work building the walls rebuilding the houses, 
digging the wells, making sure everything was working just right. And when they finished all the jobs and got the city looking okay and it was safe again, then was a very important day. Because that was the day when a guy called Ezra, who was the chief priest, got everyone together in the middle of the city and read God's law. Now the people had taken God with them to Babylon. They still kept their faith and they still prayed and they still did the things they were supposed to do. But they hadn't heard God's law for a very, very long time. And a lot of it, they probably hadn't even heard ever. Now, can you imagine if we're living in a country where there's hardly any cars and hardly any people, and you've been driving your car on the right-hand side of the road? Because we know that cars should drive on the left. And somebody, somebody says to you, well, I'm sorry to say this, but you've been driving on the wrong side of the road for a very, very long time. And you go, oh my gosh, I didn't know. And you feel terrible, wouldn't you? You think, what a mistake. Well, that's how the people felt when they heard the law. They hadn't realised all these things they were supposed to do that they got wrong. And they hadn't done this and they hadn't helped these people. And they hadn't done this thing. They felt terrible. And a lot of the people started to cry because they felt so guilty. Why have we not done all these things? But Ezra said to the people, don't worry. God is here. God will help you. God will forgive you. It's going to be all right. So can you imagine that scene with all those people all in the middle of Jerusalem, listening to God's law being read, and all thinking, oh my word, what have we done? But then God forgives them. That's quite a scene, isn't it? And it's good to remember that sometimes we make mistakes. It's good to come back to the place you started from, but sometimes things aren't quite the same. And sometimes we, we forget things or Sometimes we don't do things we're supposed to do. But it's nice to know that God will always, always, always forgive us if we say sorry. It's an amazing story, isn't it? They built the whole city up again and they rebuilt the temple and all the houses and the walls and the whole thing was built up from the ground. Brilliant. Now, how about a song which is to do with being brave? I can think of one that you might know. Do you know, be bold, be strong? Do you know that song? Should we sing it? Should we count in? Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three.
well, I don't know how you feel about going back to school. I don't know if you feel you're a bit like Aggie, that you're so happy to be back and you're seeing all your friends and everything's great. Or whether you're a bit more like Gary, you kind of got used to life at home and coming back to school is a bit of a shock to the system. But I tell you something, it's good to be together, isn't it? And school is a bit like a family. And although we don't always get on with everybody in our family all the time, it's nice when we're together and it's good that we can be together today. So I hope you're glad to be back. And if you're not glad yet, I hope you will be soon. And I'm sure you appreciate the fact that the teachers at the school are working really hard to make sure you're kept safe and to make sure you catch up with all the learning that you might have missed over the last few weeks. So before we go, I'm just going to say a prayer. And we remember, don't we? Remember all the things that happened in our story about the people who went back to their city and had to learn again what it was to follow God. Well, let's have that way of thinking. Yeah, let's think. We're coming back and we're going to learn and we're going to make a new start. That's a really good way to think, isn't it? So I'm just going to pray now before we go. Is that all right? You close your eyes, put your hands together. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us back to school. Thank you for that story about the people who came back to their city. It must have been scary, but it must have been exciting. Thank you, Lord, for giving them a brand new start. And I pray as we come back to school, see our friends and start to learn things. I pray, Lord, give us a new start. Help us to catch up. And thank you again for our teachers, for our school, for our families. And thank you that you always love us and always forgive us and always want to give us a fresh start. Thank you, God. Amen. Well, thank you for sharing this time together. Hope you stay safe and I'll see you soon. And maybe by next time, it'd be like you've never been away from school. You'll be enjoying every minute. So you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.